Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Remember that nice homeless man Miley Cyrus took to the MTV Music Video Awards the other night? Well, it turns out someone recognized him on TV. And it turns out that someone is his parole officer back in Oregon. Apparently, he has a warrant out for his arrest in that state. Court records show 22-year-old Jesse Helt was arrested on charges of criminal mischief and criminal trespass in 2010 when he was 18 years old. The arrest warrant was issued in November 2011 after he violated his probation. Helt moved to Los Angeles sometime after the arrest and tried to find work as a model. Of course he did. Miley Cyrus let him accept her award for Video of the Year Sunday night, and he used the platform to call attention to the issue of youth homelessness in America. A particularly nasty rumor falsely claims Katherine Heigl was, well, booty snooty, and recently exploded on the set of her new NBC series State of Affairs, apparently over the way her butt appeared on camera. The National Enquirer, always reliable, alleges the actress was reviewing footage shot for the show when she suddenly screamed at producers and went ballistic. Look how you filmed my butt. My rear end is like the size of Nebraska. A source who works on the show claims the report is false. Whatever, it's funny anyway. Some Burger King customers in America are upset that the U.S.-based company is packing up and heading to Canada. It's all part of a plan by BK to avoid U.S. taxes through a merger deal with Canadian coffee and donut chain Tim Hortons. The new company would be headquartered in Canada, probably in Toronto, and BK would save a ton of money in taxes. The corporate tax rate in the U.S. is 35%, the highest in the world. In Canada, it's about 15 Burger King would still pay U.S. taxes on domestic sales, and no, they're not going to substitute Canadian bacon for regular bacon on the menu. Buying Tim Hortons, by the way, is also going to help BK compete with rivals McDonald's and Taco Bell in the fast food war over breakfast. Anyway, fans are taking to BK's Facebook page to voice their outrage and have even threatened a boycott. The franchise owners of a Manhattan Taco Bell are being sued for $5 million for forcing an employee to give customers change in counterfeit bills. Seriously, though, does anyone really expect anything at Taco Bell not to be artificial? An airline flight had to be diverted for an emergency landing after a man and a woman got into a fight over her seat reclining back too far. You know, there should be a law against unsupervised 48-year-olds traveling alone across the country. A Connecticut woman was bitten numerous times after she mistook a raccoon for her cat. She was treated and released from the hospital and then fitted for new eyeglasses. A North Dakota sheriff's deputy was forced to shoot a cow after it kept charging him as he tried to investigate a car crash involving the cow. According to the lab, the cow's blood alcohol content was three times the legal limit. Jones Soda has introduced a PB&J flavored soft drink. But don't worry if you're allergic to peanuts, no actual peanut products are used. Just good old fashioned laboratory created flavors like mom used to make. Okay, Arby's has a new item, but it's not on the menu. You gotta ask for it by name. Ask for the Meat Mountain. Here's what you'll get. You'll get a sandwich piled high with chicken tenders, roast turkey, ham, Swiss cheese, corned beef, brisket, Angus steak, cheddar cheese, roast beef, and natch bacon. It's for busy people who only have time to eat once a week. When police pulled over a car in Pennsylvania, they found a thoroughly intoxicated man behind the wheel with his eight-year-old nephew sitting in his lap steering and another nephew in the back. Well, that's something you don't see much anymore, family spending time together. Hey, thanks for checking in today. We have a new episode of the Reynolds Report every weekday. Hey, watch for the Frank D'Angelo Band appearing across the country on their fall tour. September 19th in Montreal at the Leonardo da Vinci Center Theater. September 20th in Ottawa at the Casino at Lac Lemay. 
September 25th in Toronto at the Markham Theatre and October 4th at the Casino in Halifax.